Hey everybody, welcome back to Books and Cosplay, formerly known as Pagan's Reading Nook. Uh, today we are doing our first cosplay episode with Call Sign Sneak, also known as Sneak. You can find Sneak on TikTok. All the links will be in the show description. But if you are new here and you want to watch the video, you can head over to YouTube. The link is in the show description as well. We're also going to be attempting, if you're on Spotify, you should be seeing this in video format. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. I don't know what I'm doing half the time normally. And if this plays out the way it's supposed to, great. If not, then enjoy the audio and check out the video on YouTube. <laughs> but Sneak, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, thank you for having me, Pagan. So usually you guys get a lot of book content here. And if you have been listening to the show at all, you will know that I absolutely 100% love cosplay. I am a cosplayer and obviously from the get up. And this is my happy place. This is where I like to be. I like to be in cosplay and I like to talk about books, but now I get to also talk with cosplayers who are my favorite humans on the planet. So <laughs> Sneak is one of the ones I got to meet, um, gosh, ages ago. It, it feels like a lifetime. Um, been mm -hmm. following Sneak's cosplay journey for quite some time now. Um, and I think I found you through a thirst trap. <laughs> Which is great. It's awesome. But it's true. I think I actually found you through a first thirst trap on TikTok. Um, but it's cool. And it, your content, I was like, yes, sold. Absolutely. I don't know. It was a thirst trap. It was one of your uh, Koenig ones. That you did way back in the day so <laughs> and it was great and it was wonderful and i think i shared it with like 50 people who all now follow you <laughs> yes <laughs> and as you can see i apparently have no mortified sneak on camera <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I love your content. I love your cosplay. I think it's so fantastic. And um, so what made you decide to start cosplaying? Cosplaying has always just been an escape for me where whenever I get stressed or lonely, I've always struggled to make friends. So it was kind of just a way to be able to enjoy exploring spaces by myself mm -hmm. without feeling so lonely and connect with others who share the same interests and passions as I do. Mm -hmm. and um it kind of just started one day I had was recently moving out of my parents house about a year and a half ago and um a lot of my friends had either moved away or a lot of them joined the military mm -hmm. and I was just kind of like really sad so I was scrolling through TikTok and I came across a couple Call of Duty cosplayers and I'm like this is really cool I really like this and I kind of looked more into the characters and looked more into backstories and the story of the campaign itself. And I was just so intrigued by it. And I wanted to do what these cosplayers were doing. I just thought it looked like so much fun. So I saved up enough money on the side and I bought this really crappy gear that I repurposed as my first Hoonig cosplay. <laughs> Been there, done that. I mean, obviously, mine is still in the very early stages, which is fine. But, you know, um, that's the cool thing about cosplay. You can start anywhere. It can start with a mask. It can start with just a simple um, face mask that doesn't have anything on it. Um, and that's the best part about cosplay is, And I love how um, welcoming this community is to pretty much anybody. And they're like, hey, cool. Your cosplay is brand new. You're awesome. Your cosplay is the most extravagant thing I've ever seen. And you stepped out of the game directly. Like, you're definitely Simon Riley. Like, that's who this is. <laughs> mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Or you're definitely Koenig or whoever you chose to be. Um, and I absolutely love that we have that option as cosplayers now. And it's a really fun experience too because you know kind of like what you're saying is you know it's easier to be who you want to be when you have the mask on and as somebody who is neurodivergent i don't like being on camera but you put me in a mask and i have no problem with it at all mm -hmm. it's so easy <laughs> also because you don't see the resting bitch face <laughs> <laughs> absolutely 100 percent true <laughs> so 
Um, obviously, you chose Call of Duty. So who you started, I believe, with Koenig, right? Is that who you mm-hmm. started with? Yeah, and then you've moved on to Ghost, and you have, I believe, a sleep token one? Is that right? I do. Yeah. Yes. So, um, I did a rendition of Sleep Token Koenig for a while that is going to be remade. Mm-hmm. I didn't think how it looked for a bit. I like the crossover between them, and I actually think I found Sleep Token through you. And Really? Yeah. Um, because I was like, what is this song that was on your video? And I went and I looked at it. And then, of course, I'm like, hmm, I like this. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. And then now I'm, like, completely addicted to Sleep Token. So, like, they are a way of life. And if I was to join a cult, it'd probably be with that. <laughs> no, absolutely. That's you and I both. <laughs> Okay, I'd either join a cult of cosplayers or join a cult of cosplayers who listen to Sleep Token. Maybe I'm already there. Yes. <laughs> I promise we're not a cult. <laughs> <laughs> we just really love music. We really love music and we like video game and book characters a lot. Mm-hmm. So, um, out of all your cosplays, who's your favorite? I'd probably have to say Femme Ghost. It's just a lot more relaxed and mm-hmm. less geared feels less constructive <laughs> fair <laughs> but a favorite one would really have to be just regular simon ghost riley mm-hmm. i love the look with the eye black and just all the gear put together i absolutely love that too and you know he's such an easy character to cosplay mm-hmm. and i think that's probably why so many people start with him because it's just easy to go find one of his masks online and they're cheap and you can pair it with a hoodie and you know a scarf and call it a day but um he's very simple to start with he's very um and he's a comfort character (laughs) he shouldn't be Uh but for a lot of people he is because um i think a lot of cosplayers are misunderstood and he's kind of a misunderstood character as well Uh so he's kind of a fun one to cosplay and then obviously there's koenig the the wonderful giant of call of duty (laughs) which we all love and i love the different renditions of how many people have taken koenig on um you know the cosplay talk and everything and given him different personalities (laughs) which is so great And, and i love it so much so um kind of bringing it back to like your cosplay what kind of things do you have planned for your stuff in the future that you would like to kind of hint at i'm actually working on two series right now with two of my mutuals junie and vendarian and oh, I love them. <laughs> we're trying to work on like an angst series with junie and her keegan cosplay and then with her ghost cosplay oh are you gonna make me cry watching your videos now? Absolutely. It is just gonna be pure angst. Oh, I love you and I hate <laughs> you for it. <laughs> love you too. It's one of those things of okay, watching this angst video, am I gonna need to talk about this with the therapist? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Probably. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I kind of can't wait for it, but I'm also scared at the same time. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So you have those two um, that are kind of coming up, which I'm super excited about and all that. Now, if we're going to be talking about cosplayers, do you have a favorite? Oh, I love everyone's cosplay. They have their each unique spin on their cosplay, but probably my favorite has to be Cookie Hearts or uh, Wild Goose. They were two of the first Koenig cosplayers I ever saw. I'm actually unfamiliar with them, so I'll have to check out their cosplay. So that's cool. See, this is the other thing. I get to go find more cosplayers to follow, which I swear to God, I'm following like 2,000 of them now, which I'm not mad about in any way. (laughs) It makes me happy. (laughs) This is my happy space. (laughs) This is what we like. Um, Now, obviously, this is books and cosplay. So, do you have a book that may inspire your cosplay in the future? And also, what is your favorite book of all time? Oh, in regards to um, a book that might, like, inspire cosplay, 
Um, Blizzard developed Call of Duty. They also developed a game that I have loved since I was a kid called World of Warcraft. I love World of and Warcraft. And I actually started out with it. And um, this is my favorite book. It's about the Worgen quest line in WoW. Mm-hmm. And it takes it through the perspective of one of the characters in a Sherlock Holmes style kind of murder mystery. Oh, that's fun. And- it is so well written. The art style is gorgeous. And if you ever get the chance, I highly recommend that book. See, I love the Worgens. Um, I now I have not played WoW in like two or three years. Um, but I absolutely love the Worgens and um I enjoyed their storyline and what they brought to WoW when they brought them in, which was super cool. And also I'm very partial to the uh undead ghouls on there as well i oh. love those um those are my favorite also i like the blood elves because they're prettier than the night elves don't come for me they are i i'm kind of a horde girly all the way so yeah but i do love the organs i think that's super cool i did not know that there were books about the you know different kinds of um uh, races and stuff like that and wow so that's kind of cool that that's um, there. I will definitely check that out. If anybody's interested in that book, the link will be in the show description so you guys can check out the book and get a copy of it for yourself. And as always, if you cannot afford a copy, go ask your local library. If they don't have a copy, request it. They will get one for you. So make sure you support your local libraries as well. Um, so are you thinking maybe about doing like a WoW cosplay at some point? Yes, uh, my dream cosplay was to cosplay the Lich King from Warcraft. Oh, you are a woman after my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> I have loved him since I was a kid. His armor, his character, story development, everything about him. It was just amazing. I have loved him since Burning Crusade came out. And I remember when it came out and I was playing it. Um, now this will show you the age difference between the two of us. She was a kid. I was an adult and I had a child at that point who was probably close to her age. <laughs> so that will show, that I'm old enough to be her mother. <laughs> All of these cosplayers, I have adopted them as my kids, <laughs> um, which is kind of fun because eventually sometimes when I play COD, I'm the COD mother. I tell everybody, I'm like, oh, look at you. You got a finishing move on me. I'm so proud of you. And it's not toxic. It is like, I'm actually proud of you because they're not easy to get. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember playing that and the storyline of the Lich King is so good. And if you've never gotten to play it, I believe you can go back and still play it. They, they've made it to where you can go play the legacy pieces, right? Yes. yes. There is also World of Warcraft classic right. with lich king and it's just it's so well done yeah you know for the time when it came out it was one of the if i would say it's still one of the best games for the time period when it came out and the fact that it's still being played after all of these years and god it's been what almost 20 years since it came out Jeez. Mm-hmm. just a little over yeah. actually i feel really really old now <laughs> me too <laughs> i remember when it came out and i'm like oh yeah, that. Now I feel old, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love to see that. I hope that you can accomplish it because I know that, you know, doing that kind of cosplay is really hard and all that. Um, I'm guessing you're probably going to have to 3, 3D print a lot of it, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I feel that. I am kind of got my eyes on investing in a 3D printer too because uh, so from season four of this latest battle pass i want to cosplay so bad and oh oh my god he's so pretty why is he so pretty (laughs) um but yeah i would love to do that but i would i'm gonna have to invest in a 3d printer because just the mask alone there's nothing that really fits and i i was talking to somebody on tiktok the other day who had one that was close to it but it was in white and I was like, hey, where did you buy this? I, I I need to go support whoever made this so I can give them money. And they're like, no, we 3D printed it. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 3D printer looks like it's probably going to be in the works for me as well. Um, and that's the downside to cosplay. Eventually, it starts out really simple and then gets really expensive. <laughs> 
Yeah. It is not a cheap hobby, but it is a hobby we all enjoy and love so much. And there's so many amazing people that do such great content and such great things, obviously like Sneak. And so many others out there that are just really wonderful in this community. So if this is your first introduction to cosplay, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of it. And check it out. There's going to be a lot of links in the show description so that way you can go and see my cosplay. You can see Sneak's cosplay. And eventually through that rabbit hole, you're going to find dozens of other amazing individuals who will hopefully fill up your FYP and <laughs> make you smile every single day like they do us because they're all so wonderful. Um, but yeah, this is great. Now, obviously you're on TikTok. I know you're on Instagram. Are you anywhere else on social media that people can find you and connect with you? I was actually going to start up a YouTube and I haven't completely finished the polished look of it yet, but I was thinking of streaming a couple of video games Do on it. there. Like while well, in cosplay. Do it. That's probably what's gonna happen after we get done recording here. I'm gonna do that on TikTok today. So <laughs> because you know, that's how we live our lives. You know, this is how we escape reality. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Video games and cosplay and books. That's how we do it. Um, so, yeah, I am so excited for all the stuff you've got planned. Obviously, when you get new cosplay, you're going to have to come back, show it off. We'll talk about it, see what else is going on with your life and catch up and all that good stuff. And if you have any other really great things that you want to talk about and promote. Um, also, uh, one final question before we close out for the day. Do you have any events that you're going to be at that you would like to tell everybody so they can maybe do a meet and greet with you? Oh, unfortunately, I don't go to cons outside of my state. Mm -hmm. I go to a lot of ones like Ren Fair and so forth here in Kansas. That's about all I'm going to say on okay. that. But I go to Anime Con and Ren Fair here. Uh, it happens like twice a year for the Ren Fair and then once in the summer for Anime okay. Con. So... Um, obviously there will not be links to those in the show description. If you live in the area, check them out. I'm sure you can probably Google where to find them. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I know that like, I'm sad because we just missed Comic-Con here in Tennessee and a bunch of the people that I follow and support and love so much were all there and I didn't get to go meet them and I'm so close. I was sad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so everybody, thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. Make sure you go check out Sneak and all of her endeavors and follow her across social media, get to know her, get to fall in love with her cosplay. And obviously anybody else that we recommend, make sure you check them out too, because they're all amazing humans and we love them. And Sneak, thank you so much for being here. You're awesome. I love you. And I can't wait to see what else you do in the future. <laughs> And thank you for having me. I had an absolute blast with you. Well, everybody, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.